How are you, Brian? Good. How are you? How are you? Brian Smith from Lexus. He's in charge of uh, all the marketing operations for Lexus. So, first of all, thank you for having us here in Sevilla, in Spain. Mm, it's been wonderful. For this uh, very special event. I mean, this is a very special car for Lexus. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people have been waiting for it uh, for a long time. Actually, the prototype of this debuted what, 2012? Premiered actually in 2011, but yes, uh, in, in, in Detroit. First of all, don't adjust your camera. I don't think we're like flipping the image. This is a right-hand side car. And I guess uh, Lexus being now a global mm. a, a global uh, car manufacturer has to make cars for markets like Australia, the UK, and so, so on and so, right? Exactly. We're actually, you know, after starting in just the US in 27 years ago, yeah. in 1989, Lexus is now sold in 90 countries around the world. So you're right, very, very diverse product lineup. This is uh, the L. C500 and this is the one as you heard when I turned on the engine this is the BA yes. uh, great great sound great great uh, yeah. power but Lexus also is uh, starting to, like I guess a new trend with this car representing the same car exactly the same car it looks the same but it has two power trains right yeah it has this in a brand new multi-stage hybrid first vehicle in our in the entire Lexus lineup for really first in the industry to offer this kind of technology and it's really changed the perception of hybrid. You had a chance to drive it. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I I actually drove both. I drove this one coming in from Sevilla here to Circuito Monte Blanco, and then both on the track. And they're like completely different cars. Yeah. I mean, like that's a very different experience on each of them. I mean, great in both cases, but completely different. And that's I guess that's like the philosophy that I guess that Lexus is trying to 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 offer to the to the customers, like two completely different cars, two completely different flavors. Well, definitely two different flavors. I, I think the um, you know the essence of LC is consistent between the two. Yeah. What I think is really different is that the hybrid, traditionally people would be looking at a hybrid for high fuel efficiency. Yeah. The multi-stage hybrid allows you to get great fuel efficiency, but a much more sporty driving experience as you found. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit more about uh, the whole concept of, of the LC 500. Starting with the design, and I heard you in your presentation earlier today that uh, Lexus never wants to hear boring and Lexus in the same phrase anymore again. And that's like, I, I really admire that, that yeah. you recognize that because for a while, the cars have been fantastic in many aspects, but some people didn't think the design was up there to the competition maybe. GS back in 2013, yeah. which was the first of our spindle grills, much more expressive styling. And you've seen that on each of the new model launches since then. I think LC just takes it up another notch to a much more exciting, the complete package of this car, which as you heard, was built on a brand new global architecture. So all new from the ground up. And it's really it really shows in the way the car drives, the way it looks, the overall driving dynamics are, are uh, really unparalleled. Yeah, in our and life. something that also uh, has caught the attention of uh, first the media, I guess, and then like the general public is that the prototype, the concept car that we saw in 2011, pretty close to, I mean, the production car is pretty close to the, the, the prototype, which is rare also in the industry. It's very rare, and I think uh, when, they, when the LFLC concept car was originally designed, it was purely a design exercise, yeah. right? It was to show how passionate could Lexus make the, the overall design of an exterior body. Never the thought that we could actually build that car. It was very low, very wide, which yeah. of course made it exciting to look at. But I think the challenge for the engineering team was how, how close could they actually make that car um, to the to the um, original concept. And I hope you agree. This is really close. Oh, absolutely. 